Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Hey, there was a question that was asked. How do we quiet down the noise of our water pump? All right, well, I'm gonna give you some suggestions, but I can tell you right off the bat, these suggestions are not foolproof, okay? Because that water pump makes noise, it vibrates. We can probably get rid of some of the sound, but we can't get rid of the vibration. And the vibration within the motorhome or say the RV, you know, fifth wheel or whatnot, still gonna make some noise. If you will notice on your water pump, first you gotta find your water pump. When you turn your water pump on, it's gonna make noise. If you wanna make sure that the water pump never makes noise, don't turn it on. But that's not how we actually use these things, right? You need to get water, some drinking water, into your glass so you can drink it. You decide that you're not gonna buy bottled water, and why are you drinking water in the first place? It's not that good for you. One, see if you can get yourself like a horse mat, right? A real high dense mat, rubber mat. Go ahead and pull out the four inch screws. You'll notice they give you some long wood screws when they put this water pump in. Unscrew it, put that mat under there, and go ahead and re-screw it down. Now, because you're putting in a half inch mat, you may wanna look at the size of the screw and you may have to get a half inch larger. Now that mat isn't going to completely deaden the noise, but it'll at least help take away some of the vibration, okay? Again, we're fighting two things, vibration and noise. One thought as well to try and help with the noise is create a quiet box around it. This is where you take some closed cell foam and just begin to make a box. You're gonna have to cut out the sides for the water lines on either side to go out. Make a quiet box, much like what we would do with a generator, make a quiet box. Other than that, it's still gonna vibrate. Now here's the thing, I don't mind the noise, and I'll tell you why. It is actually my regulator that lets me know whether I have a leak or not. So let's think about this. If I'm filled up, I've got my holding tank full of water, and I've got my water pump on, that thing should never make noise unless I call for water. If it doesn't make noise, then I also know I don't have a water leak. If it randomly makes noise and I'm not calling for water, that lets me know I have a water leak. I've got no good answer for you. All I can do is try to help muffle it, give you some ideas to help muffle it. What would you say? Maybe you know how to do that. Take a big hammer, smack it on the, you know, real hard. That way it never makes noise again. There's your tip. <laughs> If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, but let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs and get started today. Here you are RVing. There's going to be noise. We got small RVs. Why are you trying to make it look like it's the Taj Mahal? Yintel Buddha. What is he saying? Get yourself some Diet Dr. Pepper, whatever there is. Get some nectar from the gods, drink that. Yo, loud. Y-O-O, -O, loud. That's I can't say anything because I'm a tech. I can't, I can't grammar very well either. Don't want to listen to it. Don't turn it on. No, I can't say that. That water pump on side the, inside the RV, well, it's too <laughs> loud. Actually, you loud. Like that door closing. That was just you loud, right? That's part of roughing it when it comes to camping. Don't get into orange juice or anything else like that because that's bad for you. That's just pure sugar. That was just a bunch of BS whenever they said that this stuff is really good for you. Do you know you get more vitamin C out of a... Uh... Dang it. I was doing good. Ah, okay. Speaking of orange juice, all the vitamin C, that's crap. You get more vitamin C out of a bell pepper, one bell pepper, than you do an orange. So... Squeeze that and put that in your drinking water. There's your tip. <laughs>